How have you seen some of the younger players really step up on the defense over this break? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously people may make decisions and uh, injuries and all that stuff. So you, you got to be ready to go at any moment. And uh, the, the, the next guys that are stepping up are fully capable and fully ready to do so. Um, but yeah, just those couple weeks back in Iowa City bull prep, uh, just preparing, uh, mostly focusing on self-improvement. Uh, every, everybody was, um, but all these young guys are stepping up in, in big roles. And, uh, I'm just excited to see what's going to happen. So. You ever have a favorite part about the bowl game weeks? Um, I just, I just chill. I just re relaxing pretty much. Uh, you, you get a, usually go somewhere um, that I've ne that I've never been before. So uh, just kind of soaking it all in. Um, that's kind of just my favorite. Uh, get to see some of my, my family's going to come, spend the time with them and my friends. Uh, so I'd say all all that combines probably like my favorite things about the bowl game. One last ride together. What's that mean to you? Uh, I mean, it means a lot. Uh, it's, it's very unique, very cool. Um, I think it just speaks volumes of the program. Uh, a lot of guys want to come back and just play one more game for Coach Kirk fans, uh, but most most importantly for each other. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss these guys. And I was talking earlier. We we're just talking about like what it means uh, to play, and uh, I mean it, it just means a lot. And I feel like it's gonna mean a lot to everybody uh, that's on the field. Um, and we're just excited to go out there and compete. So. What's, um could have opted out. I mean, obviously, you could have just said, you know what, I'm going to the NFL. I'm going to train. Why do it? Uh, oh, I think it's just Coach Kirk Ferns. Uh, the opportunity that he's given me and the platform he's given me, um, any time that I'm going to have the opportunity to, to throw the, the Tiger Hawk on the side of my head, I'm going to take it. Um, it's my position coach, Seth Walls, my, the defensive staff, uh, Coach Phil Parker, Kelvin Bell, and uh, Nick Neiman. Um, and it's in most importantly my teammates um, getting an opportunity to go out there with them is uh, one like no other and no one will truly like know that feeling unless you come to the University of Iowa and play for this program and, and it's just something that I wanted to be a part of um, and when I signed my national letter of 10 I signed to play every single game that I'm healthy for or able to so I'm gonna go play what was it like winning the Campbell trophy out there uh, in yeah it's it pretty cool um, it was an honor, uh, a very significant uh, award, um, and I was just grateful for the opportunity to be out there, be around a lot of cool people, um, and just uh, enjoy that that weekend with my family. So. What was it, the attitude like? I mean, like, is he is he a yeller like Phil, or is he more like sarcastic? Sometimes? Uh, he, I'd say it's more 50-50. I mean, for some older guys, like if on the field, if very if we like. Talk to him up big time, then yeah, he'll he'll get on you. But like most of the time, he's not gonna try and embarrass you or anything. Like he's gonna tell you like face to face, or he might pull you to the side or something and tell you. But he's never trying to like embarrass you or anything. He just wants the best for you. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Uh, it's been good. I actually was uh, sick a couple weeks ago for like four practices, but I'm feeling a lot better now. But the first uh, first couple days, we just did more Iowa versus Iowa stuff, just getting you know back into the swing of things after finals week and stuff. And then we fo shifted our focus to Kentucky last week. So we basically had already a week of preparation on them, and then we're pretty much just fine tuning things this week. So we do a lot of laps this week, a lot of last time. Oh yeah. Everything. Do you think about that? Uh, yeah, it, re it really hit me um, our, when we, the Christmas Eve practice, just practicing at, in our indoor for like the last time, and hit like KB was out there. We have a little reactor sled. I've hit this thing every single day for the last five years at practice, so I just felt, it felt weird. It really brought me back to my freshman year. I was thinking about like Matt Nelson, Sam Brinks, and all those guys and their last practices, so. Do you ever think about coming back? You could come back. Yeah, I still haven't uh, fully decided that. I have to meet with Coach Ferentz after the game, so still, still haven't decided. And I just want to, if it is my last game, then I want to give my all to my teammates and the fans and the coaches. But you are thinking about maybe coming back? Yeah, potentially, yes. What would it take to get you back? Um, I'm not sure, 100%. I mean, I do, there's a lot of young depths in the D-line room, so I kind of do just want to sit back and you know, like see these guys like become men on and off the field and just watch them play, but 
I mean, I'm not sure 100% yeah, 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 yeah. yet. So. Okay. So. Okay. Well, great. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. You know what you're playing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Johnny? How you doing? Good, buddy. That, that window is slowly closing. I know. A great career at Iowa. Yeah. I can remember the day you signed your national letter. How time yep. flies, huh? Yeah, it's crazy how fast it goes. Um, you get here one day, and just and now it feels like a couple days later I'm leaving. But it's been a great ride, and I, I've enjoyed every moment and gained brothers and memories for life. So, Was it everything you thought it'd be? Yeah, I'd say everything and more. So, I mean, I just appreciate all the opportunities it's afforded me and the education I received and really the, the relationships I've, I've made along the way have been, you know, the best. So, What kind of scouting report has Phil Parker put together for Kentucky since – New quarterback, new running back, new, a lot of guys have opted out. Uh, just line up and play. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's crazy how much uh, in this day and age with how much teams can change from the end of the regular season to, to now. So, you know, we're trying to we, – we don't know exactly what they're going to be calling and, and what tendencies they have, but we, we can have a, kind of an idea and just try to, uh, you know, play, play fast and play physical and, and give it all we got. So. The week started with Iowa weather. Yep. You guys looked like you embraced it. Yeah, no, it was actually a lot of fun. I, I saw the snow on the uh, going, going on the bus over here, and I was like, oh, come on. But once we got out there, it was actually a lot of fun. Guys had some energy, and we embraced it. It was good. I know you want to play on Sundays going forward. Yep. Uh, that's the next step. Yep, that's going to be the next step. I'll be training here in Iowa City, so excited for that. Good luck, John. Thanks, yep, buddy. thank you. Uh, it's going well. It's a lot warmer than it was yesterday. So <laughs> it's a lot warmer than, than Iowa too. So it was actually really nice today. So, nice. Um, what does it mean to play in another bowl game? Um, you know, it's exciting. Um, you know, we earned the opportunity to, uh, you know, come to a city and and you know enjoy the bowl, enjoy the city, but also you know another opportunity to play football with your boys. Um, I think that's the the biggest thing. So, how much does it mean to get this one more chance to wear an Iowa uniform? Yeah, you know, um, growing up an Iowa fan, um, you know, it, it was it's always been a dream of mine to, to play here, and, and, you know, I get one more opportunity to do so, and, um, you know, still kind of a, a bitter taste in our mouth from, you know, that game last year, so, uh, you know, it'll be nice to hopefully cap off uh, my career and the seniors' career with a W, so. Does that Nebraska game still sting much? Yeah, you know, um, and it, it's, it pushes us throughout, you know, every practice and stuff, but um, you know, at some point, you know, you gotta you gotta grow up and, and, and take the punch to the mouth and, and keep on moving forward. And, and I think that's what we're doing. So, is there a feeling like if you won that game, maybe you, you wouldn't have been practicing in snow yesterday? Yeah, you know, um, it happens. Uh, that's why you play the game. Um, but you know, the snow makes it tougher. The cold makes it tougher. And, and you know, we're fine with it. So. Um, no, uh, I think, you know, you have to prepare as it's as if it's the starter. Um, you know, it's tough because, you know, we don't know who it's going to be. Um, you know, one of the guys has no college film, so you have to look at his huddle, his high school stuff. So, um, you know, you, you have to prepare for, for anything and, and be ready for anything. So, If the possibility is due, you can check. So, but I got back to practice just trying to get my, get my one back. But we'll, be, we'll be ready to go here Saturday. Was it kind of just the concussion? You didn't have any other? No, no, it was just, just that. So. Yeah. Was there any um, doubt that you'd play in the bowl? Like, I know parents said you weren't going to play in the championship if you guys made it there. Yeah. No, there, was, there wasn't any doubt that I was, I was um, going to play in the bowl game. I'm, I'm excited, to, excited to get back out there after missing most of that my last game. So. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think um, things things happen in football. You know those things happen um, quite a, quite a bit. Um, so we just just gotta recover and, and move on from that. So how do you uh, what's, how do you assess whether it's the, the mood of the team, the morale of the team at this point? And, you know how do things kind of settle with the back of the team right now? Yeah, I, I think we're all we're all anxious to to get back out there. You know we've been we've been competing against each other here for the past like two or two or three weeks. You know so. I'm, um, to be able to go out there against against another team um, this Saturday, I think I think everybody's excited for, for the opportunity. Um, you know, being being out at practice, you can tell you can tell the guys are excited and, and ready to go. And I think I think we'll be ready to go for for Saturday. Are you going to handle punts? What's that? Are you going to handle punts? Yes, yes, I believe so. Go. Okay.
Uh, what about yeah, the secondary? Yeah, it's a little different. Yeah. Kayvon not playing. Yep. Uh, what have you seen from Xavier Wampa back there? Uh, playing free, strong. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's he's been getting reps all year. You know, just just not with the first group. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm confident that, that he'll be ready to go. You know, he's, um, he's grown as, as the seasons um, went on. So I think, I think he'll be ready to go on, on Saturday. How different is Kentucky than the team you saw last year? Yeah, they're, they're, they're a little bit different. Um, but, you know, they still, they still got some, some dynamic receivers on the edge. Um, um, and then, obviously, we don't know what's going on. With the with the situation um, in the backfield, but we'll we'll just we just got to prepare like we do for for any other game um, and, and be ready to go. Yeah, you can you can tell. Um, that, that a bunch of the guys on the on the offensive side are, are getting more confident in, in their abilities. You know, on the edge, there's there's some young guys that are that are really really starting to starting to step up and, and play more confident on on that side of the ball. And and I'm I'm confident that they'll they'll be ready to go um, on, come Saturday. So it's it's been fun competing against them, you know, throughout these these past three weeks. But obviously, um, everybody's ready to to move on from that and compete against another team. I haven't. No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't uh, campaigned for that yet. But you know, if, if they need me, I'll I'll be willing to to do that. <laughs>